Well, at first they thought they'd found an alien obelisk, uh, but a couple of Aussie farmers have since solved the puzzle. Turns out this mysterious chunk lodged in the back paddocks of New South Wales is actually a piece of space debris. It's thought to be from a SpaceX capsule that launched from Earth nearly two years ago. It was seen and heard hundreds of kilometres away. For more on this, let's bring in Brad Tucker. He's an astrophysicist and cosmologist at the Australian National University, so pretty qualified to talk about all of this. Uh, g'day, Brad. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, you were among the first to go out and visit this uh, object. How on earth did it land there? Yeah, that's right. It, it, it was an interesting phone call uh, to go out and check this out when uh, these two farmers... Uh, Jock Wallace and Mick Miners found it in their paddocks. Uh, and so a, a few months ago, or a few weeks ago, rather, on the 9th of July, this capsule broke apart uh, as it entered the Earth's atmosphere. Lots of people on a Saturday morning in Australia saw and found it, uh, and then it landed in this paddock. And it kind of stayed there for a couple of weeks, and then Jock was going, um, doing what you do on a sheep farm, um, and stumbled across this, and obviously realizing it didn't belong to him was a bit confused. And then uh, after chatting to his neighbor, who found the larger piece, the one sticking out of the ground a few days later, realized, hey, this is something from somewhere. Uh, and then they tried to ring around. They called lots of different people, eventually stumbled on me, who realized, hey, this is out of this world for, in a literal sense, uh, and made the trip down. It was only about a three-hour drive here from Canberra. Uh, and to check it out, as he said, to be on the scene and, and kind of verify this indeed uh, what is what it was. OK, so we think it might be some debris from a SpaceX capsule. Uh, this could have done some serious damage, couldn't it? All, all of the pieces uh, when it sort of plummeted to Earth. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. You know, so this is a, a, a fairly large what we call part of the capsule. It's what they call the trunk. Uh, and, you know, it's metres in circumference. It's, you know, three to four metres wide. The single piece is three metres long, uh, bigger than a, a human. And so as it hits the Earth's atmosphere, it breaks apart. Now, this is the plan. The hope, though, is that it lands in the ocean and it was intended to land uh, in the Tasman Sea between Australia and New Zealand. That didn't obviously happen. Now, as you said, luckily it landed in this, this paddock and no one was hurt, but it can do serious damage. Now, when it hits the Earth's atmosphere, it hits at 25,000 kilometers an hour. This causes it to break up. And this also means it loses a lot of its energy. So it doesn't hit the ground at 25,000 kilometers an hour. But you still have a free-falling 3-meter, 30-kilo object falling from 80 kilometers above. It's going to do damage if it hits on a populated area. And this is the inherent worry about space junk, uh, is that luckily so far it hasn't really landed in populated areas. But it very easily can, and the consequences could be quite severe. OK, that sounds like, uh, yeah, leaving a little bit too much to chance. Is this just a freak accident, just very quickly, or can we expect more of this? Look, there's a bit of a worry that is this is an accident, but as the rate we're sending more and more things up, more and more of these may happen. And so we, our luck may run out, so to speak, uh, given the vast number of rockets and satellites that we're launching. So hopefully we stayed lucky, but the fear is that our luck may run out and hopefully it's not on a human. OK. Keep looking up, I think. Brad, thanks very much for your time tonight. No worries. Look up and look out.